Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday, May 25th, 2021. Yes, it is. Good morning, good morning. And we are on Kempenfelt Bay this morning. Good morning, Joyce. Good morning. And it is a beautiful morning on the bay. I, uh, as I went paddling this morning, uh, good morning, Susanna, I was like, wow, there's a lot of people on the bay this morning. There's a kayaker, and, uh, and I saw a, a paddle boarder, and a motorboat just went by. So good morning, Jill, and good morning, Tanya. So glad to see you, and good morning, Rob. Yes, good morning, Karen. So me, it is supposed to rain today, that's what I'm told, and so, <laughs> according to the weather app, right? But we don't always trust the weather app and, and it telling us that it's going, it's going to be rainy. Good morning, Carly. Glad to see you. And so we are just making the most of the day already, right? So I hope you have your coffee. Good, mor good morning, Greg. I have, uh, so I've already paddled across the bay and back. It takes about mm, 25 minutes and we're going, <laughs> this is the wake of the motorboat that just went by. Um, and so it takes 25 minutes to go across the bay, just in case you ever want to know, anyone who paddles. And so uh, I'll just do a, a little bit of a circle because the sun, the sun is trying to peek through. Look at this. Right, like just so good. Good morning, Donna. Just, oh yes, that's just, all the more reason to get up in the morning. Good morning, Paul. It's like, will she be on her boat? And will there be a good sunrise? So, yes, yeah, so I hope you have your coffee. I think mine's still really hot because I made it as like just before I left and then I put the lid on. And there's a reason why they're they're called these things, right? They keep everything warm. Warm. Good morning, Ellen, and good morning, Ken, and good morning, Liz. Good morning. Okay, here we go. It's good. So uh, today we are in Psalm 146, and uh, if you're part of the Rule of Life uh, with Bishop Cliff, uh, this was—I think it was last week or this week—I can't remember, and that's okay. Um, Psalm 146 is one of the passages he uh, asked us to look at for this week, and uh, <laughs> and so I picked it up yesterday, and as I read it, I was like. Wow, this is a good passage. I know, right? All passages, all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, correcting, rebuking, and training in righteousness, right? All scripture. But sometimes it just hits you a little bit more like whoop than others, right? So, first of all, we're, we're gonna pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for Psalm 146. And we ask, Lord, as we uh, sit in your creation and we read your word that you all-powerful God would meet with us as the covenant making relationship building friend would you open the eyes of our heart we ask this in your name amen uh, good morning Frida and so one of the um, as I read through here one of the things that struck me, and I actually wrote it at the top, was why should we praise the Lord? Like, I actually wrote that because I, I feel like this passage answers the question of why should we praise the Lord? And I actually entitled the Devo, 10 Reasons to Praise the Lord, as I think what I said. Um, and so we're just gonna read it through, and I want you to listen and maybe even type in 10 reasons to praise the Lord, all right? Uh, so I'm just gonna work my way through it, and it says, praise the Lord, which means hallelujah. <laughs> all right, so just say it out loud. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And as I went across the bay this morning, I just started singing, uh, I listen to scripture songs a lot, because um, I love hiding God's word in my heart, I know, you know that. So I was just singing to myself and to the Lord on the way over, and just, praising his name so when it said when it says praise the Lord it re it means hallelujah okay so hallelujah hallelujah oh my soul my body soul and spirit right so my soul my soul is my mind my will and my emotions so when it says uh, praise the Lord hallelujah 
my mind, hallelujah, my soul, hallelujah, my emotions. So I'm going to praise God with my mind. I'm going to win my thoughts. I'm going to praise God with how I feel, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to choose, right, my will. Okay, so you're like, Jen, it's going to take us a long time to get to the end of the passage. So, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh my soul. I will hallelujah the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. So right there, it shows us why we shouldn't put our trust, right? Why we shouldn't praise the strength of men. Because it says they can't save because when their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. So we don't, we don't trust in mortal men. We do not put our hope in the things of this world. So here it comes. Are you ready? 10 reasons, 10 reasons to praise the Lord, to put our hope in him. It says, blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything is in them. The Lord who remains faithful forever, right? Right there is why you would put your hope in Christ, in Jesus, right? Versus mortal man, mortal man's finite when they return to the ground, there's no hope there. But when you put your hope in God, uh, he is your help, he is the maker of heaven and earth, and he remains faithful forever, right? There's no ending to his faithfulness. So that is the first reason to put our hope in God. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Okay. We're going to speed up a little bit. Here we go. So make sure you type them in. So first reason to praise God. He is the maker of heaven and earth. We talked about this when we talk about heaven, right? Maker of heaven and earth, earth, right? There's this distance between us and heaven and he lives there and he created all of this. So, and he wants to be with us. That's why we got to put our hope there. Okay. Keep moving, Jen. It says he upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord lifts up the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. He, but he frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever, your God, O Zion, for all generations. Hallelujah. So the first reason to praise God is he is the maker of heaven and earth. The second reason to praise God is that he is faithful forever. Those are two really good reasons to praise God, to hallelujah, God, to choose, right? To choose. I will praise him. I'm making a choice making a choice to praise God with my soul, with my mind, my thoughts, my will, and my emotions. So he is the maker of heaven and earth who remains faithful and that forever. That's two reasons. The third reason we praise God is because he upholds the cause of the oppressed. That means he's just, right? He upholds the cause of the oppressed. He gives food to the hungry. If you serve God, right, I've been I, I have been young and I have been old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread, right? Another reason, another reason to praise God is that he gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free, right? It says in, um, we've heard this before. Let's turn over to Luke chapter four. What is, it says, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Hear this? Because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Right? There we go. We're going to keep going. We're going to turn to, to Luke chapter 7. And John the Baptist is, is like, are you the one we're supposed to be waiting for? And Jesus is like, go back and report to John. This is chapter... Uh, 6 verse 22 he says the blind receive sight the lame walk those who have leprosy are cured the deaf hear the dead are raised and the good news is preached to the poor blessed is the man who does not fall account on a way fall away on account of me one two three four five six seven 
right? I was just counting up how many things. <laughs> so all the way through scripture, this is who Jesus is. This is who God is. These are 10 reasons why to praise the Lord. He sets, so he gives food to the hungry. He sets prisoners free. Those, those chains that seem just to be around us, he sets us free. He is a chain breaker. He gives sight to the blind, right? Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart that I would see you. Uh, he lifts up those who are bow, bowed down. We, we've talked about the fact that uh, he, does not, he does not harm those who are already beaten down right? A bruised reed he will not break. He is so kind. He is so gentle uh, and loves the righteous. He loves those that are, that are right with him, who have chosen to follow him. He loves. He loves everyone. But for those that are choosing to follow him, he comes alongside and he, it's good. There's a sweetness there. I, there's a sweetness there. Uh, the Lord watches over the alien those who just seem a little out of sorts, like not at place in wherever they are. Maybe uh, you literally are an alien. You are a refugee and you're just in a new, a, loom, a new land. He watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. That means he protects them, right? Those who have no protection, those who have no help, he looks after. But he frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Hallelujah. He watches over the alien, right? He defends the cause of those who have no defenders. If we want to know why we need to, we praise God in these things to, to ex express respect and gratitude and admiration when we sit with this list and we just go, God, I hallelujah your name because you are faithful. I hallelujah your name because you are the maker of heaven and earth. I hallelujah your name because you uphold the cause of the oppressed. I hallelujah your name because you give food to the hungry. I hallelujah your name because you set the prisoners free. I hallelujah your name because you give sight to the blind. I hallelujah your name because you lift up those who are bowed down. I hallelujah your name because you love the righteous and I hallelujah your name because you, you love uh, you watch over the alien and I hallelujah your name because you sustain the fatherless and the widow. I hallelujah your name because you frustrate the way of the wicked. And so the Lord reigns forever. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Hallelujah, the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, right? So if you need a reason to praise the Lord today. Maybe you are not feeling like praising him. I want you to turn to Psalm 146 and I just, Lord, help me to hallelujah. Help me to praise your name. Help me to praise your name. And then just sit with every single one of those promises and you're going to see pretty soon how God has probably met you in most of those places. And you're going to sit back and you're going to be like, God, that's me. That's me. There have been times where I have, you know, maybe felt fatherless or maybe you literally are a f fatherless or, or maybe you are a widow and you sit there, you sit there. And there's, there's gonna be times where you read that and you go, I have been blind and I've seen how God has awakened me. I have been bent down and I've seen how God has lifted me up. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna praise. So hallelujah, Lord, we praise your name. You give sight to the blind. You lift up those who are bowed down. You are a friend to the alien. You frustrate the plans of the wicked. You look after and protect the fatherless and the widow. We hallelujah your name, maker of heaven and earth. You endure forever. And so, Father, as we sit here in the glory of your creation, we hallelujah your name. Help us, Lord, no matter what today to sit and when we get in that mood that says, I don't have anything to praise the Lord about, help us, Lord, remind us of this passage. Psalm 146, Lord, ingrain it into us today. Where does my help come from? Maker of, of heaven and earth, that's Psalm 121. Remind us today, Lord, who you are, your goodness to us. Help us to love you, praise you in your name. Amen. All right, my dear friends.
the drops are coming. I hope you have a really great day. I hope you just praise the Lord with all that is within you, body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotions. That's it. That's all. Get outside. Like and share. Bye.